I would say to anyone who wants to dance, you know, you can go dance anywhere, but I would ask, is this teacher a member of a professional association? Alex Svoboda and I founded Freedom Dance. Hi, I'm Amara Pagano. I'm the founder of Azul. My name is Andrea Johan, and I'm uh, one of the founders of the Open for International. I'm Andrew Holmes. I'm a vibrant teacher. My name is Catherine Wright. I teach movement medicine. Yeah, my name is uh, Doreen Tunyas. I'm a slow motion teacher. Having an organization that supports you as a professional alongside all of the other professionals uh, is essential in terms of building the integrity of our field. The association that would be kind of interfaith, so bringing together different schools rather than serving one school. The association that would be independent, that is funded and run uh, completely by the member teachers. And for me, uh, an association that bridges um, the entire field it serves a, a, another purpose, another possibility. That it's actually a, a larger body of work that you can stand on that. It adds a level of professionalism, a sense of collaboration that allows them to feel a part of something it is, connects them to the larger field of conscious movement and it will add strength and credibility to what you're offering. And as professionals, we want to we want to uphold ethical standards and scope of practice, and that is something that needs to go across schools. That that is something that we as professionals need to hold on to altogether. And we need to have certain professional and ethical standards, and we can discuss them and cross those boundaries, define them together, and hold ourselves accountable to those common standards. The thing that you really need to know that there is professional backup for you is if there is a complaint taken out against you. It's really crucial that there are systems and processes in place so that the person who's doing the complaining is well held and well heard and that the teacher is not just left hanging out to dry. There needs to be a tight process so that there's issues of confidentiality and privacy. My professional association, the ICMTA, has a code of ethics that I subscribe to and, and that's a kind of guarantee to my students that there's something holding me to, to the highest standards that's helping to support me to to act in integrity, to hold my students in turn with respect and dignity and um, the care that they deserve. This is good for you as a professional to be aligned with, with uh, professional standards and organization. It's also good for your students. We all need to feel that there is that holding and safety that keeps us safe. So the first and foremost thing I think is that you need to be in an association because you need to have um, a connection with other people, other people for whom this is their profession. When we first train and fall in love with the dance, all our experiences are collective, collaborative. With. We're learning with and working with and dancing with and exploring with other people. And then we go through our training and, and it's kind of a necessary stage after we've graduated that we individuate, that we find our own path, that we develop our own personal style, that we find our own practices. And that's great. But, but for me, it's important that we also have something more collective to kind of balance that with have that connection with colleagues to share learning and understanding and uh, experience with other teachers, other people like me who are not my students, but who know this world 
intimately from the inside. We can enrich each other. We can we can share different ideas. We can share professional development opportunities and infrastructure. And there's a great degree of cross-pollination that happens, um, learning from each other. When we work together, when we weave our net through this planet together, we are we are stronger and um, we can share and connect all our wisdom moving through this one goal we all have to move consciously in this world. And then this third thing, which is keeping standards, just keeping an eye on standards, helping me keep an eye on my standards is a very good thing. I also think the ICMPA is doing a beautiful job of offering education of things that conscious dance teachers need that are on beyond the technique. The ICMTA creates events annually that bring together the modalities and the teachers, and I have heard how powerful and strong they are and how fun and enjoyable they are to be connected and a part of something. I love teachers gathering and and I particularly like ICMTA gatherings because of the, the sense of co-creation that there is. We, we, we make them together. I like that feeling of taking it in turns to um, share what we know and what we love uh, to inspire one another. I think that the people who join the ICMTA can be really proud of themselves because you're taking a, a leap of development in the evolution of the practices that we offer. For me, this is like, like a gift to us. My dream would be that there would be one professional body which could hold all conscious movement teachers. For me, it's really important, this big tent within which we all serve. You know, even before ICMTA existed, I, I wanted it to exist. <laughs>